monarch butterflies are one of the most recognized insects in North America that can be found from the south all the way up to Canada. You can also find them along the west coast with the largest numbers here in California. Counts in the 1990s had the numbers in the millions, but since then, the population has crashed with some researchers saying they could disappear in the next 30 years. Meteorologist Sean Stiles takes a look at the reasons and how we can prevent the loss of the beautiful monarch butterfly. 30 years ago, there were millions of monarch butterflies across the western United States, but because of loss of habitat and vegetation, their numbers have declined dramatically, so much so that scientists and researchers are wondering if they'll be around in the next 30 years. In the 1980s, there were millions of monarchs overwintering on the California coast. Serena Jepson is the director of endangered species at the Xerces Society for Invertebrate Conservation. And within North America, primarily they breed in the United States and a little bit in southern Canada and northern Mexico. And then monarchs spend the winter uh, primarily in two places, in the mountains of central Mexico and along the California coast. The monarch butterflies will cluster together by the thousands to generate heat and ride out the winter. But in a, a place like Pacific Grove in 1997, there were 45,000 monarchs at that one site, and that's one of hundreds of locations where monarchs overwinter in California. Since then, those numbers have slowly gone down. And then three years ago, that population dropped to about 30,000 monarchs. And it held steady for two years. We had 30,000 monarchs on the California coast. Since those counts of millions of monarch butterflies, their numbers have declined. And while we mostly see these beautiful little guys in the spring and summer, once the cool weather of fall arrives, they migrate to their overwintering locations along the coast in places like Monterey Bay and Pacific Grove where this year's count was so low, experts are concerned they could disappear completely. Researchers have predicted that once the monarch population goes below 30,000 butterflies in the West, it will spiral to extinction. The fear is that might be happening. Last year we had 30,000 monarchs. This year we have 2,000. So my concern is that that prediction is, is coming true. Jepson believes there are multiple reasons. First and foremost is habitat loss and habitat destruction. Both their overwintering habitat, which continues to be cut down each year, as well as the areas where they breed. And also climate change is certainly playing a role. The count bottomed out in Pacific Grove, California. This year, for the first time at the Butterfly Sanctuary in Pacific Grove, we had zero. And this is a a town that goes by the name of Butterfly Town USA. As dire as it sounds, individuals can help. And so we recommend planting milkweed and, and native milkweed and native wildflowers uh, to support the monarch population really early in the season. Serena believes the monarch butterfly is worth it. My hope also is that enough people will uh, participate in the monarch butterfly's recovery um, and that we can actually make a difference. I know it seems as individuals we can't make a difference, but if you plant native milkweed, you can. And to entice you to do that, I talked to the folks at Musa Creek Nursery, and what they're going to do is give you one of these free moisture meters through their locations around the county, like the folks here at Walter Anderson's. Go to cbs8.com, click on the help button, and then type in channel 8SS to get your discount and order your plants.